Poor Dolly. She's half the girl she used to be. Don't worry. We can rebuild her. By which I mean, make her a kitty. <laughs> Too bad mm -hmm. mom's not a cat person. Mm -hmm. Poor kitty. Huh? And she's not the only one. <laughs> Don't worry. You're coming with us. Oh. Just gotta sneak past mom and done. <laughs> now let's make some space yeah. for you. Yeah. You'll have the closet all to yourself. <laughs> But it can still use some customization. Why don't we make an opening? To make you your own kitty door. And with some toothbrush bristles. It's great for a quick brush. Now let's roll out the carpets. Huh? <laughs> and this remote car can be a five-star delivery service. And a plastic bottle's great for holding dry food. Put it somewhere your cat can get it. In case it wants a midnight yeah. snack. <laughs> huh? Next up, mm -hmm. we're gonna need some hair. <laughs> Barring that, string or rope is fine. Either way, wrap it around a plastic pipe. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but where to put it? Oh, make a hole. Put it through and add more pipes. Soon you'll have a massive scratching post. And we can decorate with our favorite plush toys. Always great to lend a hand or two. With cats, toilets are basically drinking fountains. So let's make sure it's got clean water. <laughs> now grab a pop tube and roll on some paper. After all, every toilet needs TP. Hey, where'd all this cotton come from? Don't worry, we can fix them. <laughs> But we can make him even better by filling him up with treats. Look how easy it is to dispense. And with a few adjustments, <laughs> it's also a seat. Hmm? Ooh, candy. Huh? Ooh, slime. Two great things, just not together. So let's add catnip instead. Our little friend here will hold it. While your cat takes a few licks. Wow, what an amazing toy. Plop a little ball inside. <laughs> and you can fold it into new shapes. <laughs> Even with the ball still inside. Mm -hmm. huh? Ooh, there's a bulb on the fritz. Well, we can still use the empty glass. Mm -hmm. Ditch the wire and huh? fill with water. Uh. <laughs> Add some cardboard and a phone. And you've got yourself a new video projector. Guess 
guess we can spare this plushie <laughs> now that we've got the real thing. Drill some holes. Add cat friendly seeds and water. <laughs> this toy's got a brand new do. And your cat gets a quick nibble. Next, slice up a big plastic bottle. <laughs> Add some twine on the sides to make handles. And add something soft. Hang up a tiny kitty hammock with a special surprise inside. Ooh, where'd that red dot come from? I think it wants to show us something. Wow, a cat tree gadget. Let's take it for a spin. Look, it's cat treats all around. For your cat, it's dinner and a show. <laughs> what the? Ugh, how'd a bug get in here? It's okay. Take some cardboard. And we can make some kitty cubbies. It'll keep your cat's favorite things safe. Which, naturally, are mostly just food. Huh? Just make sure to close it up. Of course, cats are also partial to balls huh? of yarn. So, lay down some yarn. Hot glue some sticks and lay them down like a bridge. <laughs> Hook it up. Let's test it out. Now that's what I call sturdy. Oh. Mmm, sushi. Let's make our own. Black for seaweed, white for rice, and yellow for egg. And add your favorite fillings. Now roll it up and start slicing. <laughs> but it's not for eating, it's for hanging up. <laughs> mm -hmm. huh? Hey, how'd that huh. get in there? Well, we can use it to attach these pipes. Once it's secure, we can hook it up, too. Ooh, look at that hair. Oh, inspiration strikes. Let's add color. And make a bunch. It can give the lamp the cozy cover it needs. Just add some finishing touches, and our cat closet's almost ready. It's time for our new feline friend to explore their new pad. You must be this cute to go through. Careful now, there's a detour. Oh, there's so many things to play with. And even fun things to eat. Hey, being cute is thirsty work. This sushi sure looks like fun. Let's take a look on top. Ooh, a ball. Try to catch it. Look, a well-stocked pantry. And plenty of plants to nibble on. After all that fun, 
It's time for a nap. But the best part about a closet is that it's great for hiding stuff. Also helps if your cat's a magician. Ah, cats. It's their world. We're just living in it. Oh, look who's here. It's a cute little kitten who lives in a tree. Time for a ride in your basket. Cue the balloons. Ah, flying. It's the only way to travel. The tree kitten has landed. Now let's bundle you up like a little burrito. Let's clean you up. We should start with those ears. This calls for heavy duty stuff. Good thing we've got a fingertip toothbrush. Really get in those whiskers and scrub those messy paws. Almost done. You can dry off and cosplay as a bunny at the same time. <laughs> Meanwhile, we've got a special surprise for you. Huh? Put some holes in this milk carton and add some udders on top. Now it's like he's got his own personal cow. But around here, we go all out for snack time. We've got food, we've got water, we've got buttons. And the piece de resistance, the meat bar. Of course, you might be in the mood for sausages. Who said cats don't like dogs, especially hot dogs? Now it's time to have some fun with this long tunnel. Add them to some cardboard boxes. Now our tree kitten has his very own tunnel system. After all, why should hamsters have all the fun? Let's add a little personalization while we're at it. There's no doubt what furry friend lives here. Anyone in the mood for tiny billiards? He'll write the great kitty novel on this. What else? Here's an idea. Grab an old t-shirt. Tie up the ends and hang it up. It's a kitty hammock. Throw on some pillows. Now grab a rubber glove. You only need one. Add it around a cup and fill it up with sand. It's great if you want a tiny chair or a moderate sized hand. Add a reminder of his favorite person and it's time to explore. I told you he liked her. He plays pool by his own rules. Ah, such a bright sunny day for napping. Hey, be careful on top of that. Even if you can land on your feet. Let's have fun with these paw prints. Add epoxy resin. Decorate any way you want and then add them on a chain. It's a friendship bracelet. Well, a necklace at his size. I've heard of a monkey on your shoulder, but this is better. Run some string through a shower glove's fingertips. Our kitty's not the only one with retractable claws. Now we need to blow up a balloon. Well, that works. Make four of these and tie to each of the strings. It's like a baby mobile and a cat toy rolled in one. Cut up some foam around and cardboard. 
It's a tiny sink, complete with a tiny mirror. We can even cut up a straw to make a faucet. Add a dial. And what's a bathroom without a bath? A gesundheit. Is that rain tinsel? How'd that get up there? Hmm, this tub could use some tinsel and pom-poms. After all, cats don't really do water. What the? I don't think your dolls will miss this garland. Time to see if our kitten likes his new water closet. Probably should powder his nose while we're here. Next up, take a sock and put it on a glass. Fill it up with some soil and seeds. And then, some more soil. We'll need to speed things up a bit. Wrap it up and add googly eyes. Why not? Now that you know how to make it, you'll never run out of delicious cat grass. This cat house needs a doorway. Now take the bristles off some toothbrushes and add it to the door. Grooming now just takes a few steps. Time to get out an old plastic bottle. Cut off the end. Now add some hot glue in the middle. Reattach with some string and pull out the neck. Now take a ball and attach with some more hot glue. Just pull it down and it pops open. Now add kibble. And behold, your cat can have treats with the flick of a paw. Why not make one for yourself while you're at it? It's the best of both worlds. Your kitty gets a ball to play with and snacks. Mmm, chips. Eh, never mind, at least we got the two. Tie some jute rope around it. Lasso it up. Add a bunch to the side of one of the boxes. Now your little rock climber can get some exercise. It's also a fun way of going up without stairs. And it's the perfect place for just hanging around. This cute tiny candy ball's the perfect thing for our cute tiny cat. Got something in your throat? Ooh, a fish skeleton. Dip it in some paint and decorate the cat's house. That, or just make some fishbone broth. Seaweed in her hair? What, is she a mermaid? Well, it's fish related, so on the box it goes. So tell me, kitty, do you like your new pad? You can just relax and scratch an itch, or go on a little adventure. After all, you're the king of this castle. Who knew that hallways could be so fun? Oh no! He thinks I'm a mouse! Why did I eat all that cheese? He'll be in his equally adorable kitty trailer. Ah, just kidding. This kitty's a real professional. Meow, amazing stuff. Catch you next time. Oh, there's nothing sadder than a cat person without a cat. Luckily, it looks like that's about to change. Oh, it's a kitty, and she's so fluffy. Something tells me that's not rain. Whatever it is, it's coming with a chance of kittens. Ooh, are you having a tom or a queen? Two of each? Mommies in the making need lots of love and attention. Especially when they start shedding. Don't worry. Our cat brush will fix you right up. 
This'll catch all that excess hair. Ew. And disposal couldn't be easier. Who wants a paw rub? <laughs> Let's tuck you in and count yeah. some white mice. <laughs> Huh, this curtain just sparks inspiration. From table to fort, a cat fort. Complete with a big fluffy teddy bear. Bring those two bear paws together. And keep them that way. Add a cushion. It's your own little chair in your own little corner. Wow. Construction's thirsty work, you know. No, but save some water. It's just what our toilet water dish needs. So fresh and clean, you'll want a sip for yourself. Don't forget some TP, always comes in handy. After all, accidents do happen. Some kibble will pair great with all this water. Oh, there's a prize. Oh, we found Nemo. Of course, every fish needs a bowl. Why not add a little island in the middle? Just add water, too. Now it's all ready for our robot fish. Round and round they go. Ooh, careful. Oh, I think you broke that brush. No matter, those bristles look all right. Just add some glue and it's a new scratching post. Wow, you sure go through a lot of brushes. <laughs> Ugh, we need to get a litter box in here. In the meantime, Ew. it's time for a little 52 pickup. Ew. Looks like she's got an idea. And just in time, too. Start by cutting a little door on the side. Hmm. Maybe something in this old Christmas box will help. No, not this. Not that. Aha! Our tiny Christmas tree. I knew it wasn't such a bad little tree after all. In fact, we'll need a few to cover up the sides. Just lay out the green carpet and a plastic bag. Don't forget to glue it all together. Add some sand, like every litter box needs. <laughs> uh, gravity is just not your friend today. But cardboard is far more agreeable. You can make it into all sorts of new things. All it needs is some old Christmas lights. And why not add a pillow at the bottom? I think your bird shedding <laughs> must be catching. Eh, loose feathers means crafting supplies. Add this to a string and add some beads. Let's hang these up like a beaded curtain. And it's the perfect place for all your old gum. We should add a pillow on top. Look, there's even a door! We'll need stairs, unless cats can fly. Ooh, nice pom-pom. Can we borrow it? A few of these will brighten up the doorway. Oh, I think Kitty wants to help. Uh, maybe not. Either way, 
This broom is just what we needed. Take an empty box and fill it up with a bunch of bristles. Pour a little cement on the bottom. Not too much. We want those bristles sticking out so Kitty can play with them. Uh-oh. Hope we didn't use up all our brooms. Hey, there's something in the plant pot. Oh, it helps you make paw prints. And we've got plenty of paws. This is going right in our collage. Ooh, beach balls on tap. Now that's fancy. But let's not forget about all that string either. Wrap it around and glue it into place. Now all we need is something to stand it on. And something sharp. Don't worry, I said we've got them on tap. Cut an opening. It'll help get the ball out. And your kitty cat in. Wow, someone tell that ostrich we found her egg. It looks like it's ready to hatch. Let's help. Ooh, confetti. And a cute baby duck. Sure had a lot of room in there. Looks like someone's got a new best friend. Meanwhile, let's have fun with all this laundry. These green tights are just what we needed. Start by folding one into the other. And tie them to these chair legs. You've got a little hammock right in your room. So who wants to try it out? Any takers? What happened to our feline friend? Well, at least we've got a sock. So many holes. Let's make some more. Take these tubes and add frills toward the end. <laughs> Accessorize and your kitty friend's got a brand new outfit. Put your paw through and you're photo ready. Perfect time for a snack break. But first, let's have some fun with the container. We really just need the bottom. It works even better than tracing paper. Draw the outline and then color it in. When you're finished, cut it out. Leave some room to punch a hole in at the top. Now we just need to add some heat. This will shrink things down to size. It's the right size for our new necklace. All dressed up for a nice night at home. <laughs> Your brand new cat home. Let's explore. Wow, those cats know how to live. Guess somebody's got some cat scratch fever. Now that's a bear hug. Time to descend the stairs like you just had a makeover. And there's so many places to catnap. But I think this is her favorite spot. <laughs> Remember to order that big liter of milk and a 20-pound salmon. Good. Now, does the cat want anything? Pretty cool stuff. Catch you next time. Instant cats. Just add water. <laughs> and they say cats don't like water. <laughs> Let's just sneak on by. Aww. Nothing to see. Home free. Oh, coochie coo. <laughs> This is going to be a great day. Oh, I jinxed it. Hmm, this bed could use a makeover anyway. 
Remove this wood. Add a panel to the side. Oh, anyone getting dizzy? A fresh coat of paint fixes up everything. All three walls. Let's see what we can do for the outside. A stencil pattern. Let's spread on some paint. Who says we need a brush? Besides, this is much faster. Peel off. On second thought, a brush can take care of the little details. Look, a cat face. As if you didn't guess who this was for. Hmm, this hole looks scratchy. And not the kind cats like. This cat door will help make an easy entrance. And with the help of these toothbrushes, the cats will get the scratches they like. Let's take a quick tour, shall we? This grass carpet will please the wild cat inside your pet. What else can we add? Hmm, an old pizza box? Cover with tape, and you can make a few steps. Steps right to the cat's own private bathroom. Meet the new and improved litter box. Now, what else do cats like? How about this? Take some rope and twist it around a base. Tie it so it's nice and tight. And your cat has a new scratching post. What else? Maybe they'll like that pigeon. Oh, even better. Take a desk drawer. Add pillows, cushions, and some toys. And it's a brand new bed. Here's something we can add to the wall. Now your cats have their own private television. Oh, it's getting hot in here. You know, the cats might want a drink. So, let's give them their own fountain. After all, it's easy to get hot when you can't take off your fur coat. Always smart to try things out before trying on the cats. Now that they have water, they might want something to nibble on too. And we're going all natural with cat grass. And there's plenty of room for a bowl full of cat chow. But let's keep the fridge stocked with wet food, just in case. Everything's really coming together. Let's add some more toys. Well, he's off to Wonderland. What's down there anyway? Ooh, candy. Oh, this bowl should fill up the hole. It's the perfect place for some cat toys. And if the cats are feeling a bit hungry at playtime, this toy's the perfect thing. Just add food. See, they'll get a treat when they spin it around. That'll keep them active. <laughs> hey, can we borrow this pillow? Now take some tights and cut them up. We need an X shape with some material in the middle. Tie each of the two opposite ends together. It's like a bed and swing all in one. Let's test it out. You know, these buttons can help get their point across. They can tell us when they want water, food, or even playtime. It's a bit too small to be a staircase. But we can still use the base. Attached to the wall, and we've got stairs after all. Hey, you're not using this giant bucket, are you? <gasps> Thanks! Huh? Now that we've cleaned it out, we'll cut out an opening. Huh, what else do we need? How about more toys? You can never have enough cat toys. 
And we can use them for a project. Hot glue them to the patch from earlier. You remember from the hole? <laughs> Add them to the bottom of our can for a soft cushion. Now break out the power tools. We're drilling some holes. After making a few, run some thread through them. It's kind of like a checkerboard pattern. The cats are going to be so happy. Where are they anyway? Huh? I uh, think you've got a little something there. Oh, that gives me an idea. Add hot glue, press it down, and it's as good as laminated. Perfect for keychains or personalized collars. <laughs> this cat toy's interactive. Let's add it to our collection. <laughs> Cats sure have good taste. This looks fun. <laughs> cat food? Maybe we should leave some things to the cats. Oh, it's just a toy. Huh? And we've got the perfect place for it. You know, it's a little small. We need to think bigger. Let's get a large glass container filled with water. Fill with stones and marbles. Add a plant. And the finishing touch, these cute little fish. <laughs> I spy with my little eye, well, her eye, eyes, a plastic bottle. Empty it and cut it up. Take the bottom and hot glue some string in the middle. Now use the string to reattach the two pieces. Add a pom-pom to the top and fill with cat chow. Hang it up. More snacks? These are gonna be some lucky cats. Cool, a laser for our cats to catch. Let's try it out. Either it's the laser or she needs to clean her pores. Hard to catch? Just what we need. <sighs> What's on your head? It's like a fidget spinner. Let's add to the wall. <laughs> what can't be improved with the addition of stickers? These pictures will help give it a more homey feel. Some more toys. Cats sure know how to live. Maybe we can put this tablecloth to better use. As the curtains for our brand new cat hangout. Yeah, this is where all the cool cats come to play. Great place for a nap. You gotta for a big day of sleeping. Still, look at all the fun stuff to do. Eat grass. Use stuffed animals as a floor. Or just relax. Looks like someone's ready to play too. Or maybe just stretch. You gotta love all the accommodations. And there's still so much more to explore. Who needs steps when you have a giant scratching post to climb? Unwind, watch a little TV, have a drink. Oh no, he's found the cats. I mean, what cats? Oh. It's love at first sight. Meow-orific stuff. Catch you next time. Time to take out the trash. Huh. Meow? Huh? Ooh, a kitty. Let's take you home. Just remember, we should probably keep this a secret from mom. Yeah, she's not exactly a cat person. Speaking of cats, where is she? Huh?
Better find her before mom. Uh, hey! Uh, we need to kitty proof uh, this room. Uh, uh, Cut out a hole in the table. Uh, <laughs> now grab a glass bowl. We're making yes. a giant fish tank! Oh. <laughs> Complete with underwater flora! Of course, for anything to be underwater... You're gonna need some water! Now, grab some pieces of cardboard... And use them to cover the sides of the table! What else can we use? Like a handy dandy dish sponge! Take some scissors and cut it up into a nice arc shape. Now dip in some paint and get stamping. Pretty soon, it'll look like fish scales. <laughs> now let's shine a light on things with our mini lamp. In fact, let's add a bunch. Next up, let's grab some old curtains. Lay it down and cut a hole. Uh -huh. Now lay down some turtles. <laughs> and hang them right under the lights. Wow. It's a perfect sight for you and Kitty to enjoy. Hey, don't you want your snack? Cut out a paper plate rim and hang it up. <laughs> Give it a watery touch and add some treats. Don't forget, cats need their greens too. Besides, cats really dig them. Why don't we collect it all? Soil is a terrible thing to waste. Huh? <laughs> Seeds have to go somewhere. <laughs> Don't forget to water them. It's your cat's very own snack corner. <laughs> Wait, what's your cat up to now? I think she needs a bed. We'll need something soft too. Ooh, a towel. I'm sure she's not gonna need it. Now let's lay it down and roll it up. And fold it into a circle. Now take some tape and cover it up. Until it looks like a giant lifesaver. It still needs something soft inside. Perfect, a soft shirt, just in time too. Cause someone needs a cat nap. Oh, ouch! Look, it's seashells. The perfect thing for decorating. Like this clear plastic container. This could use a line of pearls around the rim too. It's a treasure chest with undersea camouflage. Fill it with sand. Grab a shovel. And it's a brand new litter box. 
Next up, grab a plastic bottle. <laughs> and attach a string with beads. Hold it up. It's a nice jellyfish. It'll be your cat's new favorite toy. Just hang it up within reach. Wow, it's snowing. Inside? Wait, it's cotton. Where is it coming from? Uh-oh, she's got a cat scratch fever. We gotta fix this. Grab some tubes. And spin some twine around them. Now poke some holes in the lid. And add some feathers inside. It's your brand new palm tree scratching post. Anyone else in a crafting mood? Well, go to the kitchen for some pasta. I know it's fun to try new recipes. But maybe you should order some pizza. Now, take the pasta and hot glue them to the pieces of cardboard. Now let's paint these shell clusters. And soon, we've got a coral garden. Let's show them off by adding them to our new cat water fountain. Not thirsty? Well, maybe you're hungry. Guess it's all in the presentation. Take the kibble piece by piece and form it up into a new shape. Like a cute little turtle. He's crunchy. But he's got a soft shell deep down. Look, it's a whole family. Then again, I can see your cats clearly just eat. Well, it's not gonna scoop itself. Ooh, what a cute little paw print. Careful now, add some shells inside. And use a glue gun to save the shape. Aw, it's just what our kitty collar needs. Now cover your aquarium with tulle fabric. Complete with a fishnet design. Add some cute little seashell fish too. Wow. Come on, kitty. It's time for the grand opening. There's things to play with and places to sleep. Let's see how you look in a fishbowl. Wow, you can almost be a fish. Let's hope mom thinks so too. Uh-oh, she's got her glasses on. And I think she wants a closer look. The cat's out of the bag, but it's okay. I think she's a kitty convert. Hey, those cat eggs were expensive. Oh well, at least we've got a new doll head. What a pretty face. Let's make a copy. Except this one's a kitty. Fill it up with a 3D pen. Ah. 
<laughs> and you've got a new kitty collar. What's going on? Grimace? What happened? I think we should check that tummy. Ooh, let's remove all that slime. And, you know, maybe save it for later. <laughs> now for a quick x-ray. Uh-oh. Well, don't worry. It's nothing a pop tube can't fix. And we'll throw in some new legs, too. <laughs> Let's get the party started with our new bubble machine. But they don't last very long. Why don't we try this new glove? Cut out some holes. Give it a dip, and bubbles appear with a wave of your hand. It's always tempting to play with sand. But even cats prefer the rainbow stuff, at least when it comes to playtime. Give it a dip to keep it in place. Why, it's fun for the whole family! More tea, ma'am. Hey, no jumping on the bed. Remember, if you squish it, you eat it. But the rest is going for a ride. Talk about a speedy delivery. Get ready for the next course. Aw, what a cute pair of eggs. What do you feed your chickens? Oh, slime. <laughs> Guess that answers that. Look, it works wonders for her plumage. Let's try some gummy bears next. Hmm, it might be sticky, but it still tastes great. Careful with A, he cries easily. Oh. Guess he's running dry. I think we need to make a few adjustments. <laughs> now seal that spray nozzle into place. Add water, and you've got yourself a squirt gun. And they say cats hate water. But why waste water when you can give yourself a drink? Looks like we'll need a refill soon. A little hot air is just what our slime needs. Oh, so that's what happened to our tape. Ooh, let's add paws on each side and really get things rolling. Wow, you know, hot cocoa is a truly magical thing, especially when you use a cappuccino whisk. But first, let's get a cup and some markers. and it can whip up some new artwork just for you. Especially if you lay down some tape. Now let's add some of our own touches. I'd say it's a pretty good likeness. Ready for lunch? 
it'll be a while. Cause we're busy uh -huh. with our new fish. But if you want to go big, grab a plastic bottle and add some sticks and rubber bands. Of course, our big fish needs some water. Just remember to bring some towels. You know, you should really fill up that uh, hole. Hmm? Wait, I've got a better idea. Cut up the top of a water bottle. And fill the other half with fairy lights. Now use that sock to cover it up. It could use a few finishing touches. And it's your new kitty cat lamb. He's part short hair, part blinker. I hope Kitty likes her new iPhone. We made sure to order extra slimy. But we could save that for later. Hmm. Let's add some tape on the end. It's like a pour strip for your phone. Now let's try on this clear phone case. Here, you want to try it out? I see you spraying for the bubble wrap airbags. Look, our alphabet friends are here for a visit. And A's just in time for a checkup. Wait, that shouldn't be there. Silly A, you can't eat sponges. But we can still have fun with it. Cause now it's a teddy bear. Meet the whole family. <laughs> Sorry, she doesn't like cake. So let's draw up another cat. Now blow up a piece of nano tape. Add two right on top of his cheeks. Now place on top of a small box. This cat's not a picky eater. But he sure is a fast one. At least he doesn't eat the bones. When the paint comes out thick, just see what a good scrape can do. Also, googly eyes. They make everything better. But Kitty has her own ideas. Draw a cat with some glue. And add a dash of salt. Watch what happens when you add some color. Wow, now that's going on the refrigerator. You know, this Cheetos can put some pep in your step. Just built a little boot around it. Add some paint, or even better, glitter shit. And you've got new lifts. Now get stepping. On second thought, watch your step. You got paw prints everywhere, don't worry. Enough caramel can cover up any blemish. Give it time to harden and you've got candy. Add a stick and it's a lollipop. Or should we say lollipop? Ooh. 
done with that bottle? Good, we can recycle it. Especially that cap. Add clay and a paper dog. This ain't construction paper, color them in. For the eyes, let's go with googly. The gang's all here. Let's get rocking. They just keep going and going and going. Wow, a dog making dumplings. Hey, still better than mine. Don't worry, that's what our dumpling maker's for. All you need's the dough and filling and voila. You've got a perfectly wrapped dumpling. Wow. Careful, that might be the one with kibble. Ooh, a bone. Ooh, an even bigger bone. And ooh, a corgi? Kind of breaking the pattern. But at least he seems fun to play with. Give him a treat and watch what comes out. Ooh, careful where you're aiming that. Oh no, not the cheese puffs. I wouldn't eat that. Ew, someone get this dog a diaper. Wow, a candy machine. Looks like you've caught one. This game's a lot of fun for kids. But as for pups, not so much. But maybe then can join in on the fun. We can make our own candy machine. Just with kibble instead of candy. Press a button and the treats come pouring in. It's good thing his head fits in. Hmm, I guess someone ran out of candy. Oh no, Monica's missing. Oh, there she is. So, does this mean I get the reward? Guys, I'll get back to you. For now, let's get crafty. Next time she gets lost, she'll have an ID tag. We'll need her name and a contact number. It's kind of big. Let's shrink it down to size. Bake it in the over and bam, it's bite-sized. Just the right size to fit around her neck. <laughs> it's lunchtime. Guess someone doesn't want to share. I know, grab a pop tube and a funnel. And let the food come right to you. Use a bowl to keep everything in one place. Unless, of course, you want to eat off the floor. All done? Well, let's keep it around for dinner. I heard of dog groomers, but not like this. Oh no, you took off the whole eyebrow? It's okay, this toy has plenty of hair to share. He just keeps it in his blackheads. Good. It should be more than enough. But first, he really needs a shave. This is going to take a lot of shaving cream. Time for a rinse. And that's good enough. <laughs> What a good boy. You've earned a treat. Ooh, a hot dog. The last food in the house. I probably shouldn't have mentioned that. It's simple solution. Just split it up. You get a piece and so do you. Hey, what about me? Hmm, 
Mmm, pizza! Wait, watch out! Oh no! Is the pizza okay? We can rebuild it. Fry up the dough. Okay, this might take a while. Good! This face is nice and crispy. But a little makeup wouldn't hurt. No one wakes up looking their best. Take a bite. Just eat around the eyelashes. Oh no! Your wig! I told you to tape it down. Don't worry, we'll make you some new hair. Cut up something purple, like onions. Just as long as she looks like an anime character. Start by whipping them up into spirals. Anyone else starting to tear up? Just me? Let's lie her down and see if we have enough. But save some too. I want onion rings. That should be enough. Looking good. So where are we on those onion rings? <laughs> oh, even the tiniest of hearts can be broken. But don't worry, we'll make you a new friend. Literally, just need a glove, a cup, and some markers. Give it a muzzle and soon you've got a brand new dog. Tuck it inside. Add a hole and a straw. And blow it up. She's ready. Time for a meet cute. Emphasis on cute. Wow, they really like hot dogs around here. The chase begins. Get back here. Okay, now I'm starting to get dizzy. Hey, don't give up. Get crafty. Or better yet, crafting. Draw a runner in one circle and their legs in another. Cut off the tip of a straw to connect them together. Now these paper dolls will do all the running for you. Add a background and it's like you're in a cartoon. So, who won? Hey, let's call it a draw. Ooh, what's in that giant block-shaped box? Oh, that little shirt's sure seen better days. We can spruce it up. Get out those felt tip markers. And I mean all of them. Make a rainbow. Roll it up and add to water for a nice, relaxing soak. Once it dries, help your furry friend become fashion forward. Careful with those paws. Don't you look cute? Well, cuter. And since you're all dressed up, let's dance. Shake that tail. Come on, the camera loves you. You own that catwalk. Though, maybe I shouldn't have used the word catwalk. Want your pup to be a fashion star? Start with boots. Let's try these first. Aren't they cute? Perfect fit. Just remember, we need four in all. It's not like your pup can resist all those puddles. Now let's try the balloon. Deflate it a little. That was quick. Now place on your puffer. And it still protects their paws from all that dirt. Either way, it's cheaper than a doggy treadmill. Of course, while dogs appreciate a good walk, 
They sometimes prefer to just ride along. Especially when you do the skating for them. Hey, look, Ma! No paws! But if you don't have a special bag... We can try out an old tote bag. Cut out some paw holes. Plop your puppy right inside and go for a spin. Just be careful if you've got a great dame. Time for gadgets for your dog's more private moments. This one's pretty big. And look, it gets bigger. And bags are included. Just take one and wrap it around. Well, we might as well try it out. Give it a sec and test it out. That was easy. Oh, guess I spoke too soon. What are you feeding him? Let's just hope we don't run out of bags. Now let's try the hair clip. Hope you don't use it. Either way, we're covering it up. Hey, it works! And good thing the trash bin's right here. Well, that was fun. But now, here's something for the cats. Look at that cat brush. And those bristles. And while we've got a cat here, why not try it out? Look at all that hair. Well, now it's a toupee. Up next, we're going to try a foot. Oh, I guess just the sock. Add onto a brush. Just make sure all those bristles poke through. Groomed twice in one day? <laughs> this cat knows how to live. Pull off the sock and the mess is gone. Pets don't do that whole don't play with your food thing. Take this toy garden. Bury some treats. Plop in some carrots. Sort of reverse gardening, you know? Like, come on, Scoob! Put that snout to work! After all, what dog doesn't like to dig? Eh, carrots are really more of a rabbit thing. Take a TP roll, cover the bottom. Put a string through it and add a few more. Fill up with treats and give to your dog. The trick is to spin them around. It gets them on the floor, but not for long. Dogs gotta keep up their tongue exercises. Wow, look at all those suction cups. Stick it up and spread on something yummy for your pooch. While they're not looking, it's grooming time. Here's our backup plan. Take some plastic wrap. Wrap around your head and add the food. Now you and your dog can have some quality time. So, why not squeeze in a manicure? Can't neglect your pet's dental care. And just in time, let's start with a brush. Now, let's use the glove. But it could use some help. You just can't beat a good bristle. Add some doggy safe toothpaste. Now when you brush, really get in there. Ah, cats just seem to get the best toys. Just add a plume on top of this toy.
Now, let your cat take it for a spin. So many ways you can play with it. This kitty's gonna sleep well tonight. But why not make a toy? Hey, watch out! Look, a feather. <laughs> this could come in handy. Just tape it to the end of your shoe. Why not both slippers while you're at it? Now you and your cat can play together. Throw in some catnip, and this is kitty luxury. Now for a puppy bumper. Start with the donut. After all, who doesn't love donuts? Open up and stick your pup inside. Now that fence is nothing to worry about. Now try a spoon. Just add to a harness. Like a cone of shame, but without the shame. Pets sometimes need a little space. You know, a little alone time. <laughs> this cute little tent is just the thing. Of course, there's some owner assembly required. Come on, kitty, there's plenty of room inside. No wonder female cats are called queens. Let's see what we can make out of these old jeans. Plenty of leg room, but let's add some stuffing. Now fold it up into a makeshift lap. And it's your cat's rightful throne. It's time for some interactive dog toys. This bone's got some teeth. Add kibble. Let's hope its bark is worse than its bite. Now for the ultimate test. The bone or the chicken? Uh-huh, dogs and bones just go together. If you don't have one, just take a towel. Add some kibble in a pattern and fold it up. Nothing can hide from a dog's trusty sniffer. Unroll the pink carpet. It's snack time. Puppies are cute, but they usually don't come housebroken. Devices like this should help. Just add a sheet. And your dog enjoys their own patch of lawn. But maybe a nice plastic bin is all you need. Just fill it up with some sand. Maybe some rocks and wood shavings too. Now roll out a patch of artificial grass. Stick it in a corner and let your puppy enjoy needing to go. Cats just love a good light show. What are you waiting for? Fire the laser! If only the laser wasn't so hard to catch. Just like one of those cartoon mice. But maybe all we need is a hard hat. With a laser pen taped onto the front. Shake your head. Just don't get dizzy. I mean, you could just use the laser pen by hand. But come on, where's the fun in that? Because selfies aren't just for people. Seriously, social media is 99% pet photos. For this device, clip on a snack and a phone. 
Come on, time to get ready for your close-up. Let's send these headshots to Paw Patrol. This frame might help too. Smear it with food. Once again, the food will catch your dog's attention. Zoom in, unless you want the food in the photo. Of course, it's hard to take a bad photo with such a cute model. Pet amazing stuff. Catch you next time.